Up next is 17-year-old Hosea Parch from Melbourne. I was born and raised in Auckland, New Zealand. It was kind of rough for us. We stayed in a one-bedroom apartment with my grandparents, me, my siblings and my mum in the sitting room. Myself and my family have been through a lot together, but we always stay happy no matter what happens. Even when we don't have money or food on the table, it's just loving to see smiles on my family's face. The reason why I'm doing The Voice is not much for myself, but for my family, especially for my grandparents, because they're getting old. I'm very blessed to have them here with yeah. me today. Yeah. Tell me what you want. My, my family house. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of house is it? Oh, well, I'm not sure. Just a big house for me, just to fit my whole family. Yeah. The song I'm singing is about love. I sometimes cry when I sing the song, because it's very touching, because I always think about the stuff we went through growing up, and we all connected by just loving each other. I feel scared. I guess I'll just sing my guts out. Hopefully I can turn a chair and go all the way. Yay! All right, guys, are we ready for this one? <sighs> oh, deep breath. Did you hear that? Are they playing? I like to say we gave it a try. Oh. I like to blame it all in my life. Maybe we just weren't right. But that's a lie. That's a lie. We can't deny it as much as you want. But in time, our feelings will show Cause sooner or later We wonder why we gave up The truth is everyone knows oh, oh, oh. Almost, almost is never enough So close to me Hello. What's your name, brother? Uh, my name's Hosea Parch. I'm 17 years of age and I'm from Melbourne. Wow, great. What a beautiful, 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 soulful voice. We couldn't not turn around, to be quite honest. Just so respectful to the song. That thing of communication and, and making someone believe like, wholeheartedly is just what made me turn around. Uh, congratulations, it was awesome. I'd love to work with you, brother. That was just so moving. I really feel you. You're playing that beautiful magical instrument that I love so much. Oh, thank you. In that song, I was completely taken by the words. I just wanted to listen. It takes courage to stand up there and have space around yourself and sing from your heart. And I would love to be able to be your coach, to be able to guide you through this journey and make you an even better artist. How long have you been playing for? Uh, a few months. What? <laughs> and you just decided, I'm going to play this on The Voice? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, right. <laughs> You've literally been playing a few months. You've never played before. I don't know how to read notes. Did you have lessons? No, no lessons at all. Self-taught. Do YouTube? No, no YouTube at all. No? I don't believe in YouTube. No? Yay. OK. <laughs> That's definitely the best point. I don't believe in YouTube. Listen, let me warn you against that, because I think people need to hear you, you know? Thank you. 
There was something very kind of touching and personal about your performance. It felt like, it almost like being in church or something. You know, it's like a kind of real spiritual kind of experience. And I love the fact that, you know, it's like, oh yeah, just picked up piano. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you know, it's just what you're meant to do. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I could never have done anything but music. There was just no option. I was always going to be in music or unemployed. <laughs> and uh, I feel like it's going to be the same for you. You know, yeah. you just, you, it's almost like Stevie Wonder. But I want to be careful. I don't want to be too bombastic. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to go over the top. I feel like I want you to come to me naturally because I feel like we're a good mix. You know that song, Ain't Too Proud to Beg? Well, I'm the opposite. Because I really feel like I could teach you a lot. Yeah. And vice versa. I think you Thank could you. teach me a lot too. Jose, I can talk a lot, but I am at a loss for words. Oh. I'm emotional. I feel like this is why we do what we do as, as artists. And it's so cool to come to another country and you see somebody with a great gift and you get excited and you get the goosebumps. I literally have goosebumps all over me. You, you're the reason I sing. You know what I mean? You're a part of the gift. It's no mistake that you're here today. It's no mistake that you had a four chair turn. We're all gonna pitch everything that we can to you because we all want you on our team. But man, you were born to do this. Thank you. I think we're all really excited to have you in this competition. And we yeah, all want to be part exactly. of our misery. Who are you going to work with? <laughs> we are down to business. Firstly, I want to thank each and one of you for turning. Oh, um, wow. May God bless each and one of your souls. Um, you guys, honestly, you guys deserve it. Beautiful. It's an honor to be here today. With a team, I would like to go on. Boy. Oh! I'm so honored. Thanks, man. What awesome. God bless you. God bless you. Wow, what a treat. <laughs> We're going to win this. <laughs> you are so talented. So talented, baby. You're 17 years old? Yeah. Oh. All your future. Oh, okay. oh, your future. Oh, I'm so happy you're Thank here. You. Oh, that's good. Thank you. God bless all you. Music is what I'm passionate about. And I feel like Boy George can help me fulfill my dream. I could just like do backflips if I could actually do backflips. Oh. 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 Oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got a winner there, George. George, I hate you. Oh, but babe, come on. You love me, really. Kind of. He was amazing. He was very sweet. I think I said I could win The Voice Australia. Yeah, I think I might have just found the winner. <laughs>